Hello gems, this is Sapphire and this is our eighth part, our final part for modeling and rigging a live 2D character in live 2D cubism and then bringing it into PR PR live. So what we're going to cover in this video is going to be the mouth movement. Now the mouth movement you see on screen right now for my older version, it's not going to be the same mouth movement most likely because I did that a very specific way with the help of somebody and unfortunately I cannot find the file anymore to see how I set it up. I'm going to be using the Hayori base and follow this along for the mouse movement. Hopefully it will work for your VTuber. Remember the mouth part is one of the hardest parts in my opinion of making a 2D VTuber. Getting the mouth to look right you're gonna have to mess with a lot of stuff and honestly it might not look right at first but again of course if I figure out any more information on how to make this better I will be making videos on it. And then at the end here we will be bringing our mouth into PRPR Live and setting it up on Streamlabs OBS. I will not be giving an in-depth tutorial on PRPR Live or Streamlabs as this tutorial is not covering those things. There will be a separate tutorial for the full PRPR Live. I do have the start of a Streamlabs OBS tutorial which you can click that card above if you're interested in that. I'm probably not going to finish that series but that might be at least get you started on understanding Streamlabs a little bit better. All right let's get into it. So what we're going to do is go to our Hayori and I'm going to check this. So mouth form we have a mouth form and a mouth open and they're both going to be in the mouth folder so i'm going to go scroll through here and see if i can find them here they are mouth form and mouth open and we need to create a new folder called mouth call this mouth enter and we're going to drag mouth form and mouth open into the mouth folder now i'm going to click on the folder to open it we're going to want to drop our points now on mouth form and mouth open so we got a negative two all the way up to a one so let's check our mouth form to see if this goes to negative two, it does not. It goes to negative one. So I'm just checking my parameters here. I'm going to edit parameters and do the minimum at negative two because that's what the Hayori file has it at. So now we can go all the way to negative two or to positive one. And we're also going to check our mouth open to see what they have over here. We got a zero to one. So let's check to see if this is zero to one. It is great. So next we're going to drop our points like they did with Hayori. So I'm going to right click on each one. So we got a negative two, negative one, zero and one drop that on our top lip or we're going to start with the mouth warp up here i'm just going to drop it so we have the points so click on mouth warp in your hierarchy mouth form we're going to double click on the blank space right there and then we're going to add a negative two point we're going to add a zero we're going to add a one and we're going to add a negative one awesome so now we got our four points there and then for the mouth open, we're just going to have two points at each end. So you can go ahead and click on the two points up here in parameters. So now what we're going to do is look at how Hiori has it set up. So once again, we're going to go back into our file and check. So if we're all the way to the right and to the right on both, her mouth is going to be wide open. So we're going to try to mimic that. So I'm going to scroll here and make sure that both of my points are snapped by clicking right click on each of those. And then we're going to go to upper lip. And I'm also going to drop all drop all my points. So I'm just going to right click, add a dot, right click, add a dot, right click, add a dot. And same for here. Right click, add dots to both of those. OK, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is, again, make sure I'm snapped to the right on each side. I'm just going to move my lips up here. We're doing just the upper lip right now. I'm going to go ahead and drop on my lower as well. So I'm going to lip lower in the hierarchy and I'm going to add points to each of these. OK, now we're going to move the lower lip down as well and snap Whoops. You really want to be cautious of where you're at with everything here. We're going to move this down. And actually what I would like to do is I'm going to add our little worm up here to each. So the deform path edit tool, I'm going to add a few. So let's go like that. And again, we're going to have to add all of our points here. Always check to make sure your points are added. I'm going to add to the mouth form and the mouth open. And we're going to do one for the lip upper as well. So let's drop one, two, three, four. I'm just kind of following the shape of the lip right now. And let's add our points for this as well. So we're going to add the green dots to each. Great. Awesome. And we don't need it that for the tongue or the teeth. It'll be OK. But I am going to go to my teeth right now and drop our points. So it's there. If you have teeth. Go ahead and do that with your teeth now. And then also for our tongue, I'm going to drop the points as well. And again, if you have a tongue, go ahead and do that now. And then lastly, the back mouth. Same thing. Just adding all my points. So they're all set up and ready to go. All right, so now I'm going to hop back uh, to both of my right points with it open. I'm going to click. So again, we're snapped to both right sides. I'm going to click my lower lip and pull this up a bit. I'm also going to pull it down for the mouth open. 
All right, and I don't really need to move the tongue or the teeth or anything here. That's pretty good for the open mouth. So I'm just going to go ahead and save my work. Now I'm going to go back to Hiori and see what it is when I go to the mouth form, the second point right here, the 0, 0.0. So it looks like her mouth starts to move into an O shape. So now we're going to go ahead and right click here to the second one and try to get that O, more of an O shape. So I'm just going to open this bottom lip down with our points. We're going to go back to the top lip. I'm going to pull these in to get that O shape. Again, this is when having a mirror on your desk might really help you to look at your face and what it might look like if you are making an O face. Again, you know, what does that look like? How can I apply that to my VTuber or whatever type of animation I'm doing? So we're going to open that. You can make it as extreme as you want. It's up to you. I'm going to move these points in here for my back mouth. So I just clicked on my back mouth because you can see it's poking out a little bit. And since we... Oops, actually I need to open that again. My bad. So our back mouth, I'm going to pull that in with the greens instead. Make sure you're on the recorded points and it actually looks like, okay. Again, this is where you really want to be cautious. Make sure your green points are placed because you're going to run into some serious issues if they're not like I am literally right now. Okay. So we grab our teeth as well. I'm going to make sure I'm on the teeth warp over here and pull those in with my green dots. I'm going to go back to this mouth because I want to fix the liner right there. Okay, so cool. We now we got this moving, moving down. Okay, now we're going to go to this, uh, this third point right here, which is negative 1.0. Let's check what it is over here. Negative 1.0. It's pretty much just a smaller O form. So I just want to take what I had there and make it a little bit smaller. So we're just going to pull this in, pull this in, make a less extreme version of the O. I'm just clicking on my top mouth there. And again, we're going to go back to this, but make sure you're on your back mouth warp and use the green points to pull it in and make sure it's recording. Make sure all this is green, because if it's not, it's going to move your default position. So we'll go to the teeth warp, pull that in. Let's go back here because I messed up some of the line art. It looks like it's scrunched in. This is due to me having poor mesh layouts because it's all jumbled up. Okay, so we got this and then we're going to go to our last click over there. Left, we're going to check where it is for Hiori. Again, it's a very like wide O. So just kind of like mimic those shapes. I'm going to do that. It's getting crazy. It's getting crazy over here. I'm going to go to our back mouth. And again, we're going to use the green dots. Make sure it's recording. Pull that in. Same for the teeth. Teeth warp. Pull that in. Go back here. I want to make sure I'm on the warp as well again. The top of that lip's a little whack right now. We might be able to fix it by pulling in like some of these meshes. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Still not the best, but again, this is due to my, to the layout. So it's my own fault basically for not taking the patience er earlier to map out everything. This looks definitely not the best, but that's fine. We roll with it. We roll with it. <laughs> so this O is okay. Again, the mesh isn't perfect, but for time's sake, I am just going to move on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go back to Hiori and click on our left for the mouth open and go back to the right and work our way down. So we want it to be just like a closed smile. So we're going to go back and I'm going to snap my mouth open to the left for mouth open and for form to the right. We want a slight smile, so I'm just going to lift these corners a little bit. We'll go here, lift that. Got to fix my mesh here. Nice. Okay, so we just have like a slight smile there, slight smile. Then we're going to go to second point, check what that is on Hiori, second point. It looks like we're starting to get a little bit of a frown. So let's just pull that down a bit, pull this down a bit. And again, the more extreme, the better it might look. Let's click on the teeth here, make sure we're on teeth warp, pull that in again. So we got it starting to frown. Then we're going to go to our third point, the negative 1.0. And that's going to be a pretty, like we're starting to get a pretty big frown there. So we're going to, we're going to really pull that, that down. Pull our big lip in. I'm not going to do too much warping to the big lip right now. And then we're going to go to our back mouth warp. Pull that in so it's not showing. And then we're going to do our teeth as well. So I'm just going to click on the teeth here, but then make sure I'm on the teeth warp. That's just for quick navigation. Okay, so we're starting to frown. It looks like some of my Atlas stuff is messed up again, though. So I just want to go ahead and straighten that out. There we go. And then for our last point, let's snap to there. And that one is kind of, I'm just not going to really fill that in because that's, I don't exactly know how that even works, how you get to that, that point. So we're just going to, we're just going to leave it here. This is a pretty good basic 
set up. So now we're just going to click these links and link them, link our mouths. So then our mouth movement should be pretty smooth when you when you move it around now. So I'm just going to test this out. We're going to go to export for runtime, export as MO3 file. Remember, make sure your export physics setting is, is checked if you just came from the physics video. We're going to do a uh, 7.3. 3.7.3. Okay, we're gonna let that save. I'm gonna open PRPR Live and we're gonna, it's gonna be it. So once you get into PRPR Live, you might get some pop-ups depending on like what version they're on and stuff. Go over to this tab called Live 2D and you're gonna click Load and you're gonna find your JSON file. And again, you want everything to be in the same folder or you might have an issue with your textures showing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on 3.73. That's my most recent. And I'm gonna double click here. Cool, I'm gonna click OK. And now to scroll in and out, you hold Alt and scroll wheel. And if you want to turn, rotate, you can hold Control and scroll wheel. And if you want to move your VTuber, hold Alt, left mouse button. So now we got her up. So now I'm going to go down to face capture settings. All this other stuff will go over when I make the full PRPR live tutorial, especially the lighting section, because that can get confusing. So for face capture settings, we're going to go ahead and click on that. Built-in face capture. There's also DLC that you can get that can give you more control. Game emoji. On emoji DLC, I use sometimes. All right, so built in face capture. Right here, face capture and cursor is going to give you the option to have it d track your pupils or to follow your cursor. So you can mess with both of those and see what you like. I'm going to turn my body resistance way down. It's going to give me more movement. And now make sure that you have your camera selected, the one you're using. I have a C922 Pro stream camera. I'll drop that link down below in important links. So if you want to get the same camera that I have, that will be there. And we're going to click that and we're going to click start capture now i have the capture started and we're gonna head calibration so hold the neutral face when you do head cal and face cal so we're gonna look at the camera with a neutral face okay now i should be calibrated pretty well and you can mess with all these settings depending on what you want so obviously you can see my mouth movement's okay it's a little finicky this is not moving on vols this only pretty much has open and closed and o kind of like an x and y but it doesn't have a lot of the in-between. So you'd want to add more keyframes if you want more accurate mouth tracking. Again, I don't know a lot about mouth tracking. It's something I've struggled with quite a lot myself. But of course, if I learn anything, I will give you guys that information or make a video on improved mouth tracking. So I'm going to turn down mouth X and mouth Y. That might help my case a little bit. You might have to exaggerate talking a bit. I don't even know what high nose means. Test. Test. But yeah, so you, you can mess around with all these different things, kind of see if it makes your tracking better, whatever works best for you. Audio-based lip sync, you probably don't want to use depending on what you are. I think there is a skeleton VTuber. I don't know what his name is off the top of my head, but he probably uses something like this audio-based lip sync to get a very jarring open in the opening mouth because that's what a skeleton's mouth would open like, right? So think about that again in the fact of animation or how your character might work and what you might want to use. So we're going to call this good for a basic model setup. I know this was a long series tutorial. Hopefully you guys got some value out of it. Uh, I might do the ears as a separate tutorial. If you're interested, drop a comment below. Next, we're going to hop over into Streamlabs so I can show you how to set this up quickly on Streamlabs. So let's go over there. Look, I can be smug. Hold on. Smug. <laughs> OK, yeah, let's go over there and, and see see how that goes okay so what i'm going to do is go to my sources and i'm going to click plus on add new source and we're going to do a game capture you could do window capture if you don't have game capture and then you'll have to take out the green screen uh not going over that exactly in this video because we're going to do game capture so add game capture i'm going to do add a new source and i'm just going to call this 2d saya add source and it's looking for games. Sometimes it will auto pick up your PRP Alive and sometimes it won't. So I'm going to do specific window and go to PRP Alive and make sure you check allow transparency and then click done. If for some reason it is not working or showing up, it's maybe because your webcam is being used by something else. Or if you have webcam activated in here, turn it off, delete it, get rid of it because you want your webcam can only track one source at a time or you might have to unplug, replug your camera. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is go back into PRPR Live and you're going to click the disable anime background and you're going to click the X up here to bring back that menu. You just double click if you need it back for any reason. So I'm just going to exit out for now. And what you want to do, if you have a lot of transparency, you might get this really gross green outline around your character. I am going to right click and add filters and we're going to add a plus here and we're going to do a color key. We're going to add that and then we're going to turn up the similarity until the green is mostly gone if you have green anywhere on your model this is not going to solve that problem 
it's going to cause issues and it's going to make the green probably disappear. Like the bottom, mine is actually fine right now. You can mess with it if you have green eyes or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. If I, again, learn a way to fix that, I will let you know. But I have no idea how to get rid of the green screen if you have green with your character. I have not looked into it yet. I have not had the chance. But now you should be set up wherever you move your character in PR, PR Live. It should show up on your stream that way as well. So you can use PRPR Live, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and now my character is on top and whatever game I have underneath or anything that I have running on whatever monitor is being captured behind her, then that should be good. If your VTuber is not appearing in front, make sure she's on an upper layer above your main monitor because this acts as a layer system. Anyways, we should be good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this long tutorial series. If you have any questions, you can add me on Discord. Consider joining our Discord community. Tons of people help out there. We have a hashtag question section. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please consider giving it a thumb up. Share it with your friends. Share it with someone who might need it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!